Hi, I'm Margaret Warren. I'm Acting Executive Manager of the Discovery um, team at SLQ and Daryl is one of my amazing ICT colleagues. We're going to talk briefly about uh, using data to help us make good decisions. So for me, data has got you know, some really great business applications. First of all, it can actually help us ask questions. When we can look at data and say, that looks weird, and that helps us to, why is it like that? What's happening in that situation that gives us that bit of weird data? Um, a good example from our collections data would be, why is it that there are 11,000 views of this one thing on one day in YouTube? And it turns out it was the floods in 2011. Um, data helps us answer questions too. So if we can look and interrogate and understand data in a meaningful way, we can then answer those questions. It helps us understand, as um, Corin talked about earlier, it helps us understand our collections, but it also helps us understand our clients. It helps us understand the way they use our collections and services, and it helps us understand what we need to do to improve where things are not going well. And lastly, it helps us make good decisions. So what Daryl's now going to talk about is a very large data set that we have. I think there's around 500,000? Yeah. Around 500,000 um, search strings from our catalogue. So these are the, th the terms that people put into our search box. Um, it's, available, um, uh, it's available as an open data set. Um, if you look at it um, on open data set, you'll see that we need tools to manage and meaningfully interact with large data because it's actually just a long text file with 500,000 rows. So um, Daryl's now going to show you a tool that we're using uh, that we, we could use and that anybody could use to try and extract meaning and ask and answer questions about large amounts of data. I'm going to be brave and jump out of this and jump into the live website. I use a tool called Sumo to help me analyse logs. So I uploaded 5,000. That's not going to work. Uploaded five, the 500,000 records into Sumo, and I can't type backwards to see what I could do with them. Normally, I play with log file records, so this was a bit of a challenge because I didn't quite know what I would get out of a search. A lot of search string. Records. Everyone shut their eyes. <laughs> now, I'll bear in mind, when I press the enter button, this engine is going to live search those 500,000 records, as long as I've got my password right. Look at that. So this is, at the moment, is parsing those 500,000 records on predetermined searches that I've put in there. So what I thought, after playing for a little while, and the good thing about Sumo is it's very easy to play in and make changes, I thought, what does the average user or average search string user look like at State Library? So I'll have a bit of wander across. First of all, we discovered that of all the lengths of search strings, 13 characters was the average length of a search string. <laughs> Not much use, you would say. And that of the words they used, five or six character words were probably the flavor of the month. So what would we do with those? Find out what the top 10 search strings were overall. Artist Books, Fortitude Valley, Charters Towers. But what were the top 10 searches for people using 13 character strings? Artist Books, tied in nicely, Highgate Hill, World War I, and so on. And we thought, what were the top 10 words used? Yes? <laughs> one, minute. one minute, sorry. Is Brisbane, and if we go over here, you'll see what the top five or six letter words are. Um, eventually. What is interesting with all this though is you can very easily, expect, this is a nice general average user look in the world. What about our more um, aware user who's discovered things like Boolean searching? Let's find out what our Boolean searching people are up to. Again, this is live searching of that 500,000 records. <laughs> Sorry about the, the small font. Yep. So that's, that's off the current set that happened just after the floods, so, or the set we have on open data. That was the year after the floods. The uh, other one I thought was interesting after doing a bit of fiddling with the data was our, what were the longest words we put in? <laughs> okay. 
and they're the longest words, hyperparathyroidism, hyper someone was not feeling well that day. Internationalisation, you can go through those. And, of course, our longest searches. So we have a 255 character limit, so those are, these are the searches that someone like dots, and a lot of them look like cut and paste from other objects. So that's a bit about what Sumo can do, and I'd be inter if you want to know more, come and see us see me some other, I've actually got a race after this, so you'll have to come and see me some other time, but I'd be interested in showing you what Sumo can do and how we can apply it to different log sets within the library. Thank you very much.